Bonjour. I am sorry, I will speak in, uh, in French uh, this time. OK, thank you. Uh, je, voudrais, je voudrais tout d'abord. Uh, I would like, uh, first of all, to thank uh, the organizers to give it, for giving me this opportunity of uh, speaking about rabies and the different actions uh, to fight rabies in my country, including those uh, within the framework of celebrating the World uh, Rabies World Day. So first of all, there's a long history of rabies in Morocco and the fight against rabies in Morocco. The vaccination, human vaccination started about just one century ago, since 1911, and um, at the level of the Pasteur Institute in Tangier in the north of Morocco, and vaccination of dogs started in 1925. Therefore, there was a national control program institutionalized since 1986 and carried out by the three main um, uh, minister, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of the Interior, and the Ministry of Agriculture. And um, a, a, unit, a manufacturing unit for uh, animal rabies vaccine exists in the country since uh, 1996. <clears throat> and uh, there are uh guidelines and different instruments that were created as well as the celebration of world rabies day which uh, started since its inception in 2007 therefore there has been lots of uh, activities and efforts deployed in the framework of the fight against rabies unfortunately these efforts have not yet reached the uh, ex uh, expected results therefore the disease persists today uh, animal and human cases still occur. Every year we have a certain number of cases. The great pro problem is that uh, we never manage to actually achieve adequate vaccination of dogs population. We cannot even reach 25% of dog vaccination. The other control measures are uh, of course uh, carried out uh, such as this uh, post exposition uh, and uh, sensitization but they remain suboptimal so two question remain how to um, how to manage this elimination of the disease in the country and uh, as well as uh, how to benefit, how to uh, actually take the opportunity of celebrating the day against or the, the, again, the fight against rabies to carry out more activities and uh, to also actually um, deliver an action plan, a national action plan against rabies. So like I said, rabies is still here with an, um, an average of 20 cases per year since the year 2000, and when we talk about human cases, and about 300 animal cases since the last epidemi epidemiology report of the Ministry of Health in its last uh, volume for year 2020. About 90% of rabies cases are due to dog bites. One of the questions that was asked uh, when uh, there was this uh, webinar in February 2021, uh, the question was, uh whether rabies elimination could be uh, become a reality in many countries this was during a marathon organized webinar the problem is that uh, there is a really a big problem uh vaccinating at risk dogs especially in developing countries and in africa especially therefore we see on this uh, table that the vaccination of dogs in Morocco, instead of improving, is actually regressing. It's, um, there is no progress. It is decreasing. The year of reference is uh, 2005, in which we had vaccinated about 450,000 dogs 
And uh, since we are the goal of uh, vaccinating 1 million dogs per year, but as you can see, there was a very important increase, which uh, was uh, aggravated in the past couple of years due to the COVID pandemic, which had, of course, an impact on all health programs, including the national program to fight rabies. Therefore, uh, however, continuous actions were um, carried out since the establishment of uh, World Rabies Day. Since 2007, we have celebrated every year, let's say, at the national level or even at the local and regional level. We as a society, civil society, as an NGO, we have organized two forums. The first forum, national forum, was organized in 2015, right after the creation of the Moroccan Society to Fight Rabies, and the second forum was organized in 2017. These two fora had uh, as a topic the strengthening of the activities to eliminate rabies. There were several roundtables, there were seminars, there were training workshops, there were awareness camp raising campaigns, also field activities with uh, mini dog vaccination campaigns. And um, there was a lot of uh, uh, awareness raising at schools, uh, there were competition, the drawing competitions in schools for children, and all of this was uh, realized by a certain amount of uh, actors of departments and civil society. Yet, let's say that um, the problem remains the same, and all the different themes have been chosen each year to actually push towards uh, the elimination of rage, but rage still here. Uh, rage, not sorry, rabies, I'm <laughs> sorry. And uh, this has uh, become much worse, actually. There have been some examples of our celebration in 2012, we had this um, uh, slogan, which may, was rabies killed to let's get together to defeat it. In 2013, it was rabies kills and until when? In 2015, 2016, it was the same thing, like the same topic, let's say, to uh, raise awareness, to advocate, and to carry out uh, sensibility, uh, awareness raising activities through the media. But uh, there is a, a still the program remains. Therefore, also when celebrating the day, they have had uh, recommendations that we at least for some of the recommendations, we managed to guarantee some activities in the framework of these recommendations and the framework of training. For example, in 2018, we had developed a tutorial for e-learning in rabies for the personnel of health and um, this was large audience was uh, touched in 2019. There was an, an initiative from the Moroccan Pasteur Institute, uh, which opened its uh, national reference laboratory, which uh, organized um, a multi-country and international workshop on surveillance and control of rabies with uh, the participation of uh, several countries, among which Algeria, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Senegal, and Tunisia. And therefore, these, this was held in partnership with several partners, such as WHO, um, FAO, and other partners, as well as the ministries, uh, as including 
the Ministry of the Interior and uh, the Global Alliance Against Rabies was also present, meaning that it also took part in this uh, celebration. This important workshop and regarding vaccination, we tried this uh, vaccination on humans. We tried to push towards the increase of uh, the anti-rabies centers. So we moved from 265 anti-rabies centers in 2017 to 687 anti-rabies centers in 2020. Our goal is to have to facilitate access to vaccination post exposition and uh, to therefore guarantee this vaccine in every health center, just as we have a children vaccination. And we have therefore reflections on the different means to develop much more the uh, coverage of dogs. This uh, vaccination is free, but uh, the results so far have not been uh, really uh, convincing. So we still have a very low coverage rate versus what we are aiming for. And uh, as, a, as to elimination, since we still do not have a national elimination plan, then we are just uh, right now celebrating the World Health Day, and we are trying to push for this plan. And personally, I had actually uh, guided a project of uh, studies to facilitate this dialogue with the participation of some uh, students in order to facilitate the analysis of the situation and um, with the use of uh, this tool that we actually developed uh, for, for uh, this elimination plan. And uh, these are the usual partners for the celebration of uh, the World Day Against Rabies. Of course, we have the main ones, which is the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Agriculture, which was represented by uh, uh, the animal products, uh, the general direction of local collectivities, which represents the Ministry of the Interior, the, is the Agronomic and Veterinary Institute, Pastor Institute from Morocco, as well as NGOs such as the Moroccan Association for Public Health and Environmental Health. SPANA, which is and also the Moroccan Association Against Rabies, and VAC with the participation of uh, the UN uh, with uh, uh, FAO. And uh, we also have uh, the Pastor Institute, which sponsors some roundtables. And therefore, I would like to honor one person who is very active, who is the general director of uh, the ANSA for the regions, Rabat Salekinika, who is a veterinarian and who is really the main driver of uh, this uh, celebration. And he really is the leader. And uh, we just uh, are around him to work together and facilitate this to carry out activities in the framework of the celebration of the of, uh, of um, World Rabies Day. Ten seconds, okay. This year, 2021, we hope to celebrate the third National Rabies Forum. And of course, it's a lot more. Uh, the intention is to move forward in the creation of the national plan and to start seriously 
to uh, carry out uh, activities uh, to uh, eliminate rabies. And therefore, here we also are trying to apply the recommendations from the UN agencies. We have meetings that have been organized in Tunisia by the OIE to celebrate in the framework of uh, the three uh, Northern Africa countries together to celebrate uh, World Rabies Day together. And then, therefore, I finally, I would like to take the opportunity to say that uh, the um, academia is not absent, of course, they are here, such as nine Congress of uh, the Moroccan uh, Society, Pediatrician Ac Academy is celebrating its ninth Congress with one conference regarding epidemiology and rabies prevention. You have the link right here, and you can send uh, posters or communications that uh, might, uh, let's say, uh, become, uh, they can actually promote this Congress. Thank you for your attention and together, of course, to end rabies.